What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. It was a random matchup versus the house of Zod. Uh, yeah, these, uh, this podcast clan, they're a really good fair play clan. Um, and it was awesome that we matched up with them. They were going for their 200th win, I believe. And we stopped them uh, 112 to 96 uh this was a bounce back war after a big loss sort of uh, we were on the flip side of uh this kind of screen versus the dark looters they just had their way with us so it was really nice to see the guys bounce back and just absolutely just demolish this war um you know just perfection was at its best here guys i mean a couple th few th10 triples in there uh twos on everything up above it uh and a clean board all the way down guys fantastic job really really nice to see this uh you know 40 man just everyone get together and bring forth their best effort because after a tough loss again like we had against the dark looters it is really easy to kind of get down on yourself and get in a rut um you know, but that definitely was not the case. All the guys stepped up and, you know, it was some really sexy attacks. So as a result, I have a ton of attacks. I think I got about eight attacks or nine attacks I want to show you. So I'm just going to jump right in here, guys. Um, I was Zod. Um, hopefully you guys get that 200th win real soon. Thank you very much for uh, the great fair play war we had. Um, you know, uh, real quickly, I'll talk. They did have an 8 and an 8.5 down at the bottom, so we did have an advantage. Uh, like most of the wars, One Hive usually has quite the hero advantage, most, you know, all the way down to our 30s. Uh, we have, you know, 25, 25 heroes. So we did have quite the hero advantage, but otherwise, I mean, it was fairly even, right? You look down, um, all the way down to our 11, they had Inferno Towers, so. Uh, they did have a sort of newer, or whatever you want to call it, uh, Town Hall 11 in there um, with four Town Hall 11s at the top. And we had fairly similar numbers. I think we had less. We only had three Town Hall 11s. Uh, like I said, had substantial hero advantage and base advantage down low. Uh, and then also had 10s right to our number 11. JJ is a brand new 10. QC is still working up there. Zerds is fairly new. <laughs> DI is getting up there now. He's got uh, his max queen going. He's working on his king right now. Uh, Salty is about the same stage, maybe um, maybe slightly lower uh, heroes. Anyhow, guys, is what it is. It was a great war, uh, nonetheless. So let's just jump right in. I got a bunch of my bottom beasts here just doing work down low. Uh, we are going to start off with number 37. Good old slick going in here with this basically um, basically a shatter go govaho. Um, see what I mean? Like level 10 queen, level 15 king, right? So we did have quite an advantage down low hero-wise. Um, you know, this is very Town Hall 8-esque uh, defense uh, base. So Slick takes advantage of that. A couple golems in to create that funnel. Opens up that compartment. Valks in right behind. One thing, the reason I wanted to show this attack, guys, is look how um, I've been coaching. Sorry, I'm going to pause this real fast. I've been coaching attacks lately and really trying to open guys' eyes up to where is the easiest funnel? To create that doesn't necessarily for surely dictate exactly where you're gonna enter the base however if you can use that that easy funnel with only you know two whiz on either side and just immediately be able to throw those valks right into the base and have them start doing work that is a huge thing guys right um so these army camps on either side right one wizard one wizard funnels created and go right so uh slick does a really good job of exploiting that Jump spell goes down. I'm going to unlock this whole core. Now, this queen is right next to this wall, so she will jump into this expo compartment. Um, now, she, of course, like it always happens, like she jumps on this weird angle. She totally should have jumped in that expo compartment, but that jump spell just reaches just in time. Uh, everything gets over that defensive queen. No problem. Hogs are in on her heels now, too. Doing work on this 9 o'clock compartment. They're going to start working their way in this uh, clockwise rotation up and around through this queen chamber. Second heel spell goes down. I'm going to keep those hogs moving. Tesla goes down, Wiz Tower goes down. I'm going to just continue this rotation all the way around now from the 12 o'clock to the 3 o'clock location. King's in there doing work. Both hero abilities have been concerned. Finally rages up the King to beat through that wall. Start him doing work. Valkyrie routes. Still has a Valk alive in there or two. Got so many hogs moving in for really two Archer Towers, a Mortar, and a Cannon. <clears throat> no big deal. A few more reinforcement hogs on the back end. And it's tree in the bag for Slick. Look at all the wizards. I don't even think he lost any wizards. There's five wizards up there. Six wizards. How many wizards did he bring? 
Seven wizards. Oh, so he lost one wizard that whole raid. Really nice raid, Slick. Sexy tree. So moving on. Oop. Good old auto shutdown on my headset. <clears throat> All right, so Glenny Boy goes in here. Uh, this one, this is a really creative attack, right? You don't see this very often. Uh, brings uh, a, two Lava Hounds, the Cold Blooded Golem with four healers. This giant goes in. I love this little wall breaker fail. It doesn't end up failing. He brings a few extra wall breakers, which is good. So sends the first one in. The Mortar immediately takes a shot. So he drops another one and loses it to the Mortar. He's like, hmm, well, I guess I'll get this Queen Charge going. I'll drop another wall breaker and have it taken out by the Expo. And fifth time's a charm. In he goes. Opens up that wall for the queen. No big deal. Still has two in the bag there. And if you look, these skull walls technically only need two wall breakers to make it uh, for it to open up. Um, so a cold blood golems in. Ran on top of that mortar. Wizard's in nice and tight. Just going to start creating that funnel. He wants that king to walk right into this queen chamber and take all this stuff out. Queen is under rage now. She's working on this compartment. Has to take care of those skellies first. Hate when I drop my rage and skeletons pop. It's better than hitting your ability and having skeletons pop, I guess. Anyhow, you see, she's about to get that next air defense and lock onto this uh, Lava Hound. Uh, that is a key, key point. Uh, weird that she took that extra shot. Uh, to me, it looked like she retargeted the Hound and then the air defense went down anyways. But whatever, right? So two air defense are now down. Uh, which is a big, big piece because he's got two Lava Hounds. Queen is now down. CC is about to be uh, mopped up here in a moment. Just got to finish off those Lava Pups. King is in. Archer Tower number one and two are down. This Queen Chamber is now clear. So here comes the air attack. Hound number one goes in. Three balloons in right behind. <clears throat> Haste Spell is going to throw everything through this chamber right on top of that air defense. Lucky that Hound didn't hit any mines because it that it would be dead already. And, and uh, I don't think that section would have uh, been okay. But it is, right? Three balloons are right in on top. Second Lava Hound's now in on that other air defense. Um, does take a mine to the face, so it is about to burst. But they're... Um, sorry, I guess he had three Lava Hounds in there. My bad. Did he have three? Oh, I guess we'll see at the end. He must have had three Lava Hounds in there. Uh, but they all burst. Oh, maybe it's two. Anyways, uh, they both burst, so that is good. Has a bazillion balloons sitting on that last air defense. There is one under-leveled wizard tower to go. It's not going to touch those balloons whatsoever. Pops all over the base. Clean up time. Glenny boy. Glenn gets a six-pack almost every war. He didn't this war. Um... But he has a little healthy uh, healthy competition going on with some guys in the clan. And Glenn is just ripping it up for being the number 37. He is truly one of our bottom beasts. Nice tree in the bag there, Glenn. Um, yeah, 35. 37, 36, 35. All very nice attacks. Uh, kicks. Recognizes the Town Hall 8 defenses. So what does he do? Brings three healers, not four. That 14 uh, space can give you a couple extra balloons. You know, an extra wizard in there really, really can make a difference. Um, the three healers, right, don't do quite as good a job healing the queen. But against those Town Hall 8 defenses, if you bring a raid spell, she is just going to rip through this stuff. No problem. Bam, bam, bam. <clears throat> so the goal here is... Uh, to w get this air defense out of this little walk, pull out the CC uh, troops, which is a Lava Hound. So it's going to hold her up for a little bit. <clears throat> but eventually she will get this air defense. So he goes ahead and drops this cold blood of Golem. He's going to have to drop these four wizards, create a funnel. Going to get this king into this large open chamber. Wants the king to get in there, get this air defense, and get that defensive queen out of the way. So everything's going just splendidly. Wall breaker is in. Has a little bit of a fail to that mortar blast. <laughs> Uh, there go the next wall breakers. Nice, nice and patient on that. I know I don't know how many times I like. I am the worst with wall breakers, so you know when I see wall breaker fails, I feel your guys' pain. But really nice patience. Test goes in. Mortar shot killed it. So you were nice and patient. Waited for that mortar blast to go off again. Then you drop the rest of the wall breakers. Open things up. King's ability is now underway. Air defense number two, one and two are now down. King is about to lock onto this defensive queen, but does not quite get to her because uh, she was standing in this oddly shaped compartment instead of hopping in here. So this raid is looking scary at this point. That queen locks onto that Lava Hound, so he drops that extra Lava Hound right on that defense, right? So he's got the Lava Hound there doing some tanking. Uh, queen 
died there to the lava pups and a couple balloon smashes, I believe. Uh, so kind of got lucky in that little compartment, but I wouldn't. I, I shouldn't say lucky because it was so compact. The queen's standing right on top of that air defense, so everything smashing that air defense is also hitting her. Rage goes down, pushing everything across this base. No more air defense to worry about. Just has to take care of the uh, sweeper there. Get everything on over to that expo whiz tower and Tesla. And it's no big deal. There goes that last haste spell. Going to throw everything right on top. He's almost lost all his balloons. One more shot from that wizard tower. And they were about to go down. So by the skin of his teeth, KB must be his new haircut. Little new haircut luck here. Uh, comes away. Gets that lava hound to burst somehow. I think there was a, ba a balloon that went off there. and Or a, a air mine. <laughs> Anyhow, tree in the bag for kickbacks. Really like this army composition, right? Three lava hounds with a cold blooded golem and three healers. Only 11 balloons in that whole raid. And I'm pretty sure, you know, you can see by the end of the raid, he still had quite a few left up, um, even though they were all with a sliver of health. Very sexy. All right, so let's move up the chains here a little bit. I got one right out of the middle I want to show you. Then I got a bunch of TH10 triples to rock through. This is Chatty Boy going in with a little bit of a, a queen. Uh, like a queen walk um, Govo. Now, I was looking at this attack, and based on the way this queen charge goes, or sorry, queen walk, um, I probably would have handled the back end a little differently because look at where these air defense are. She's going to walk right up, get both these air defense, get, a, get basically the whole 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock section of base, um, leaving a big, big crippling for air because if you look at this, it would really just be the uh, queen chamber here. With the one air defense inside. All right, a little sip of my Timmy's. Um, so you could quite easily send, uh, you know, after this queen walk, you could send in, uh, you know, even a handful of giants probably, handful of wizards for a funnel, and send a king in to take care of this business right here. Leaving essentially one air defense left for the whole base, if assuming you, you brought enough for this uh, section of the kill squad. I mean, even, you could even bring just a golem, a cold blooded golem for surely, right down the middle, a few funneling wizards. You're going to take out that queen chamber with the king and the wizards, and then basically just leave one air defense in this this right section of the base uh, for your air attack. But uh, Chad here decides to go with Valks and Hogs, which is awesome as well. Double jump here, right? So he's just creating his funnel. Two golems are in, king goes in behind. Wizards doing work. Valkyries are now going to work their way into this very compact compartment, get really good value. Watch how quickly these buildings go down. Valks touch them and boom, boom, down they go. Valks just touch things and boom, boom, down it goes, down it goes. Right, so they're going to move in. Heels in there helping them out. Jump spell number two is about to go down, unlock the rest of this base. There it goes. Going to move everything in onto that queen chamber. Here come the hogs. Didn't bring many hogs. I think there's only like a dozen hogs here. Uh, but doesn't need that many because, look, there's not much of this base left over. Sends in three hogs down here while the Tesla is getting tanked. Uh, the golem is tanking that Tesla. So the, the hogs move in. Do trigger a bomb there so they don't make it through. That whiz tower finishes them off. But he's got probably 10 or 11 hogs in this queen chamber now. Um, really just got to work over that expo, work through this Tesla, work through that next Tesla and whiz tower. And this base is done for. Got way too many hogs here uh, for this base to stand a chance. All the bombs down there are triggered. No problems whatsoever for those guys. In they go. Down goes that Tesla. It's cleanup time. <clears throat> Healer's still all over the base helping things out. Sexy treat in the bag. Nice job, Chatty. Okay, now for the big boys. Again, really nice job, 2.0. Very, very, very nice war overall. <clears throat> the dirty wop himself. Hope no one takes offense to that. <laughs> I am Canadian, right? So I do worry about people taking offense to things constantly. <laughs> but DI is the master here now because he is really getting these TH10 triples down. I just wa uh, witnessed him doing another one in our current war. Um, very, very similar attack. Little kind of queen walk. Um, take out a big section of the base. Going to bring a, a dozen or so Valkyries. Send that in with a, a shattered entry. Take out another big chunk of the base. And then back end hogs. You only bring six hogs. Actually, I think it's a cold blooded golem with hogs in the CC, if I am not wrong. <clears throat> I guess we're going to find out in one moment, but I'm pretty sure there's max hogs in the CC, which is going to give him 12 hogs all day. Uh, so poison goes down, helping take care of the CC troops there. Bunch of archers going down to that poison very, very quickly. Down they go. Hog goes in to pull out the rest of that stuff. Out come the wizards into that same poison spell. 
in comes that witch. Witch jumps right into the poison as well. They're going to take him down very quickly. Poison does fade. Um, so it kind of gives him a bit of bit of issues. I don't know if he, I don't think he wastes a second poison because you don't need a second poison in there. But does have to hit the ability. Takes care of the rest of those skellies. Down goes that witch. Going to finish off that base. So in comes the golem. So yeah, cold blooded golem in there. Wall breakers in there. Wall is now open. In comes the valve parade. Really just wants to take care of this big chunk of base move everything into the core if you can get the um the dozen valkyries into this core they're just going to shred through this base he's got a freeze for this back end inferno down look how fast that inferno tower went down look how fast this core goes down with those 12 valks in there boom 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 down goes that inferno it doesn't even get out of the freeze really before it's dead hogs come in from nine o'clock now right has no heals for them but if you look how compact this bottom part of the base i've talked about this before there's not even a room for a spring trap, never mind a bomb. So those hogs are going to be A-OK, -okay, especially because he's got his king in there and Val and uh, Golemite's in there doing tanking. Hogs are just going to work through the rest of this base. Cannon, Arch Tower, last defenses to go. Boom. Very, very sexy tree, D.I. Woo! Good old TH10 Govaho. All right. So my man JJ, literally our newest, I believe, 10 Hall 10. One of the newest for sure. <clears throat> um, so JJ is going to go ahead, bring in a bit of a, a queen uh, queen walk, work her way down this section of the base. I believe he walks her all the way down to 9 o'clock and then sends in his kill squad here. The goal here now, because you look at the comp, uh, he's got Lava Hounds and Loons for this back end. So really wants to get this air defense, continue along, get the defensive queen, continue along, send in the king, get that second air defense on the way, and hopefully get that Inferno Tower. And you're going to see this work out just perfectly. we got to get through this Lava Hound and crap first. Boom, boom. Pups go down. Queen continues her way on her path. <laughs> going to continue to get value there. Knocks down that air defense. Going to lock on to this defensive queen in one sec. Down goes that queen. See you later. All right. So uh, queen walk section is complete. In goes this cold-blooded golem. Creates the funnel on the other side. Queen's already done work on that other side. In goes the king, right? As soon as these buildings go down, king goes in. Jump spell goes down. Wall breakers have already opened things up there. Just got to rock through this arch tower. He's going to get that next air defense jump right on top of this inferno tower. So things are looking nice and pretty at this point. Going to have to use that king ability in one sec. As soon as the king gets in there, he's going to hit that ability. Boom, there it goes. Maybe, maybe king ability, I swear to God. Anyways, in goes the air attack already. There, oh man. <laughs> there goes the king ability. Probably a little late on that. I would have rocked it. As soon as the king took the jump, I would have hit the ability, started my air attack. No big deal. Rages all over this core. Haste pushing everything into this base. Very, very compact, symmetrical style base, right? So um, you can really predict where the loom path is going to go. You start just dropping them all on the outside. Everything's going to start in that... Uh, clockwise or counterclockwise rotation um, in this case counterclockwise rotation balloons moving all over the place gets that hound to burst just in time there is pups all over the base here doing cleanup still has that queen there with her ability unspent tesla goes down it was the last defense to go boom 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 very sexy hit jj welcome to th10 i cannot wait till you have max heroes my friend because you were one of the best town hall nine attackers i've ever known in my life and hopefully that carries through to Town Hall 10. And with hits like that, with your level 30 heroes, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's only a matter of time before you're uh, knocking down those top max Town Hall 10s for us like nothing. All right, so going in on Snake Pliskin. I love that name. I believe Snake Pliskin is the guy from... Um, oh, what is that? It's... Um, oh, my God, what movie was that? Escape from L.A., wasn't it? With Kurt Russell? <laughs> I want to say, I think also Snake Plissken is the name of Snake in Simpsons. Maybe it's not Snake Plissken. I'm positive, though, that's from Escape from L.A. I'm pretty sure that was Snake Plissken. Maybe I'm wrong. Someone can correct me in the comments. But anyhow, I like this little deal. Now, I don't know. I don't know if Ice planned for the Queen to beat through the wall there. But there is nothing, no buildings there to funnel off. I would have been a little concerned she went... Uh, once that army camp went down, I guess that was the difference, right? She can't see anything on the other side of this army camp. So her next logical thing to do is beat through the wall to get through the stuff on this side. But I would have been afraid she went down here. Anyways, no big deal. Look at all these giants. Look at all these Valkyries moving in now. Bam, ba-bam. Sends the giants in. Um, sends the Valks in, my bad. 
a little too quickly in my opinion it doesn't really matter it doesn't it works out great free spells go down taking care of those infernos infernos are down in seconds like not even seconds a second those valkyries get literally touch the infernos and down they go so big big deal for these uh the new valkyrie targeting system because they are in my opinion very overpowered um you know the game seems to be in a stage right now where valkyries at all town hall levels are just insanely valuable um they already were in my opinion i've talked about this before but when you can just spam 15 20 valks you know with a little bit of a queen walk same thing i said about the mass witches um, to me, that just doesn't seem very strategical and not exactly the way I would choose to have Clash of Clans go. So I really, really think um, we're going to see some sort of Valkyrie nerf at some point. If we don't, we don't, then no big deal. And the game evolves and moves on. Who knows how the bowlers are going to play play a role here in the future. Um you know, there's a lot of very interesting things happening in the Clash Clans right now. But in my opinion, Valkyries are just a little, little, little too strong because... Uh, Look at that. Just absolutely demolished it. 17 Valkyries, right? Like, just insane. Um, you know, I can't say much more about that. But Valks are OP. An OP, an already OP, OP unit. <laughs> That's what you want to say. So anyhow, House of Zod, like I said, tough luck on that 200th win. Hopefully you guys are going to snag that next war. Thank you very much once again for a great war and 2.0. Amazing job, guys. Really nice to see. Very perfect. Um effort from us uh come coming off that tough loss to dark looters uh you know i know we all we all took that to heart because we did none of us performed to our best of our abilities in the dark looters war and we definitely definitely all performed to our best of our abilities in this war so really nice job 2.0 uh grats guys like to see that uh, nice green warlog again it's about time uh, we're rolling over some clans and have some nice arranged wars coming up we're probably going to do a family scrim very soon uh we want to do some practice uh practicing on some of these newer, newer style attacks versus our own bases and uh, really do some tweaking to our base building because we uh, have definitely identified, especially in that Dark Looters War, like those, those Dark Looters guys have some of the best Town Hall 9 attackers in the game. And they struggled on our 9s. And what that told us was Town Hall 9 base building is back, guys. I mean, it's not going to be the exact same, but you can build a Town Hall 9 base now to defend three or four hits and it kind of sucks because this new mass valk four heal attack on town all nine in my opinion is just sort of ruining it um because there is other ways to, to three star town hall nines if you break it down properly as opposed to just spamming 20 valkyries and constantly keeping them healed as they shred through your lava walls um anyhow I've gone on enough about Valkyries, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of good stuff coming on the horizon, so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recap. That'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser here, just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.